Wubbity bam! <laughs> bang bang biggie, that's the way to go. All right, today I'm gonna to show you how to cut out your subject using Select and Mask in Photoshop. Hey there, welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace. You can find me on flurn.com where we make learning fun. And in today's video, super quick cutout of your subject. Who doesn't want that? Now, here's the deal. The more simple your background, the easier it is for this tool to cut out your subject. So we've got a great sample image. You can actually download this on flurn.com. Just follow the link right down below. Let's go ahead and get into it. So as you can see, our subject is on a blue background, nice and simple. This is kind of the perfect situation for Select and Mask. It can work with a more complicated background. It's just gonna work better with a simple background. So we're gonna go ahead and click on our background layer, go to Select, and then down here to Select and Mask, which is a wonderful dialog. It just, in general, helps you cut your subjects out, and it'll help you refine your edges as well. So we're gonna go right up here to the top left. This is my quick selection tool. And basically I'm gonna just paint right over the background and it's gonna figure out like, oh, we want something similar to that, okay. And it just kind of extends it out. Check that out. I'm gonna just paint right there and paint on down there. And boom, it's a very, very quick way to get your background selected. Now, we're gonna come back to this in just a second and refine the hair. I find doing that separately actually gives you better results. So right down here where it says output to, we're gonna choose layer mask. So let's hit okay, and it's gonna pop that into a layer mask. Now, right now it's actually the opposite of what we want. So we're gonna click on the layer mask and hit control or command I to invert the layer mask. And I realize we've got some blue here in the hair, some things like that, but that's okay. We're gonna, we're gonna refine this in just a second. In the meantime, we're gonna create a solid color background. So let's go ahead and create a solid color. We're gonna pop this right underneath our subject. And then I wanna change the color. Maybe we'll just change it to like a, there we go, a, like a bluish green. All right, maybe we'll just make it a little bit darker and more saturated. Fantastic. So now obviously we wanna get rid of all this original blue from the background, right? And clean up all this selection area. So we're gonna go back to our layer mask. We're gonna to go to select, down to select and mask again. And this time we're gonna use our refine edge tool. It's right over here. There we go. And all we have to do is paint right over top of our subject's hair. And it's gonna know that the blue areas aren't exactly what you want in your photograph. How it knows, I have no idea, but it really does work well. So I recommend going, especially over hair, it's gonna do a great job making sure the edge of all the hair looks uh, realistic. Okay, <laughs> literally that's all there is to it. Output the layer mask, perfect, let's hit okay. And as you can see, it automatically updated. Look at that. Really, really nice selection around the hair. This is fantastic. Now all we have to do is double click right there on the background and we can just change our background color to whatever we want. There we go. I think that looks great. We're gonna do one more thing real quick here. We're just gonna make a curves adjustment layer, bring that up brighter. I'm gonna invert the layer mask and then I'm gonna use my gradient tool with a radial gradient. And then we're just going to go ahead and click right here in the middle and drag that right out. Boom, it's gonna create a little bit of a light right behind our subject, and I can kind of transform that and make it a little bit bigger. So an incredibly easy way, I can still go in here and change the background color, by the way, if I want to. Ooh, that looks good right there. So we went from this original background, cut our subject out, put a totally new background, and add a little spotlight behind our subject. This technique is super easy to do. Just make sure your subject is on a clean, simple background. Go to select and then down to select and mask. You wanna go ahead and select the background because it's more simple than your subject and make sure you change what it outputs to as a layer mask. Then I recommend creating a new background, click on the layer mask for your subject, go back into select and mask and do that refine edge that'll clean up things like hair and clothing. And in this case, we added a curves adjustment layer, put it above the background, made it brighter and then used a radial gradient to pop a little light behind our subject. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and you wanna get a free tutorials from us every single week, just click on that subscribe button right up there. YouTube thinks you're gonna like this video right here. And if you wanna learn even more advanced Photoshop, we're talking about really cool stuff 
Photoshop compositing, retouching. Click right up there to learn more about Flurn. Bro, thank you so much. I'll flirt you later. Bye, everyone.